Yeah, it's another one of these. Must be oh, the bank barricaded themselves inside. But our objective is still to kill these guys. <laughs> What is he saying? Oh, come on, guys. You flatters were so easy in, in Witcher 1. You killed it. Single handedly. That harlot's yeah. brood slaughtered half my unit. I see the harlot's brood came close to slaughtering you as well. Need to withdraw. You and your men. Now. My duty lies with the city. Won't help the city by leading your men to the slaughter. Damien, conversation back at the palace, remember? I'll say it again. Your men don't stand a chance. I just remember, Regis is seeing a lot of bloodshed. Is he not going to turn again a vampire because of that? He's probably going to... Yeah, it's probably gonna have to be pretty concentrated. Men, tend to the wounded and prepare to march out. <sighs> Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver, that's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. There, one moment, gone You're the next. to a point. Bombs containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Yeah. Got a different plan. Hmm. And what would that be? All I can say just now is I'm gonna need Siana. You know the Duchess's decision. Sianna awaits her trial, in custody. We know it, but we do not agree with it. You've that luxury. I do not. I've sworn my loyalty to her grace. Did I... Did I screw up? By telling him that? Folk are dying. Many more will, because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yep. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time well, here. Well, your head is not gonna be... <laughs> Wait. When... When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess Loxiana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Yep. Let's go, Regis. Let's go to the playroom. Oh, here. The playroom's beyond this door. I. Careful! Hey! Now you warn me! <laughs> oh, but he's fighting this one. This doesn't, doesn't fight every single one. This guy. Wait, wait, wait. This guy is really. What do I have equipped? Oh my god. Get him, dead! Thank you! Can we go? Locked. Of course. Regis, rather not have a fist fight with his door. Would you mind? Not at all. Oh, he's going in. Uh, 
Thanks. At your service. Okay, get out of my face. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Not utter silence. I heard this. Miniature tableware and plush toys. Cute. A rocking horse. Wooden duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Well, well. A key tucked behind a picture. A tin knight. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I despise these things. <laughs> Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. Mm hmm. But what about over the here? The land of a thousand fables. Interesting. Medallions vibrating. The land of a thousand fables. Why is it vibrating? Interesting. Medallions vibrating. What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were mm. little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Not at all. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she <laughs> would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. She's a Brugza, or something to that extent. The girls you heard the today. They scream? I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Yeah, well... Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Not Cannabis sure. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, means... last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation... Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Hmm. Well, we just found the, that book, didn't we? Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. I came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. Hmm. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bloda is damned or cursed. What's Kusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, 
The word describes the many petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Yeah. Mm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there and isolated. We must see. We must also. Swear I saw that book somewhere. You did, Gerald. Shut up. Stop me giving me tips. Nice tune. Indeed, pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism is damaged. Is it? Oh, it's not. Oh. It is a nice tune. Huh. Is it? Let's see. Gerald. Expecto ludum. Oh, I saw the screenshot. I saw that screenshot before. Regis? Regis. He's going to need to say it himself, isn't he? He might be afraid of that, though. Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. Also known as Mushroom Land. Oh boy. The camera controls. What happened? I have Nahelanes going wild. All land's an illusion. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. Girls, welcome to the land of a thousand fables. Fables. Set out on a journey of wonder. Enjoy yourselves. From Uncle Artorius. Warning, spells will remain stable until June 1252. Hmm. Well, not... that should be interesting. Bloody oh. hell, let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble! <laughs> Hands off my hearth, dearie! You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it! That's a nose. Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. One. Just as soon as I catch you. Okay. I'm down for it. Oh boy. Okay, I can shoot you. I think. Do I need to? Come now. You cannot possibly fear if you magic your plants. No, it's not well actually I can. They're really nasty. You're going down, Mr. Broom. You're going down. I'm killing your you're having a tough go of it, Witcher. No, it's fine. He lost her pot. Felicitations, Witcher. It seems you've won. It seems that is the case, yeah. What what the hell was that? The wicked witch. A nose. Her, haven't you? No. Now where did you put that key? Listen, I Stop looking at her. How do you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. He does it on purpose. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Siana? 
Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans so you can breathe easy. Don't. That's not. Sure. I. Beans. What beans? <clears throat> Try not to interrupt. Well, Jack, where are they? Sian, I, I, I'm sorry, but but I haven't got them. Oh. Let me guess. Something Seven tells me dwarves right. took them. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all. Hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went to That's home. another one. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. Well, she's and uh, in Rieta, she's all the sister, right. all right. So why is it you're here? <laughs> Came to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Dedlov. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Dedlov, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Dedlov, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. No. Well, you come to beg my you... help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Dedloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. This place. Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. She was exposed because she did all those criminal things. And yeah, I know, I know about Hans Hansel. I think it's Hansel and Gretel. The two, the, the, the story. Yep. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, ah. they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm-hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulak had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Well, I, I I expressed my surprise before already. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. 
Even met one of you, Renfri of Graydon. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Then maybe it was the same. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister <laughs> blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. What's up with her hand? Is that just the way she talks? Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here. Nah. the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside mere minutes will have passed. Well, I guess we have time. Are you gonna come with me or not? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna go and get myself some beans. Beans. Hmm. Right. Is that... Is oh, that what I think it is? Unicorns. We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Oh, good. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds <laughs> me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. <laughs> Care to elaborate? No. Rather not. <laughs> that is a... <laughs> that was such a brilliant line. <laughs> Reminds me of something altogether different. <laughs> Oh boy, hello little guy, how's it going? None at all. This is Grant. I'm alright. Not in any danger. That's him. Shit. Joss. Last, they're going to rip him in six. No, they're not. As long as I don't cut him up, I should be okay. And the uh, unicorns make not unicorny noises at all. They sound like horses. There it is. Okay, so your guy's gonna be a little bit busy for the next little bit. You're gonna be able to attack. Oh, there's another one coming. Okay, go ahead and kill me. It's fine. Ouch. You're dead. And you're dead. Relax, it's over. No, it's not. There's more. Another wolf behind you. Ignore him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't. When they actually appear. The one oh. and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything. Not one thing. And besides, watch out. Wolves! And besides what I... Seriously. Seriously. This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just okay. like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! It's always the opposite, okay. Let's say for fine. a minute you know what happened to the red bean. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. Oh, but boy. say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! 
<clears throat> Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way or not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? <laughs> His face! <laughs> Alright, oh we should go. Watch out for wolves! He's just a sad little boy with some to serious, to serious trauma. Was it though? No. We'd merely remember he always lies, yeah, or more please. precisely, refers us the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables, the meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few: Red Riding Hood, piglets and bears, three of each, and Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Flint is the match girl, right? Matchbox, match, matchbox, matchbox girl. I think Incredible. it might be. He must have loved this place. I did at first, but children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pea out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Faster! Huh? Come on, you... you... Know what? They need names. I'll call mine... Hmm... Anis. Call mine Roach. Roach? Yes. Are you serious? Ugh. Why? It's, it's the Roach. best name. <laughs> it's mostly because they don't want to re-record it. Come on, Roach. <laughs> Let me see if I can kill them all from up here. Cannot.